Hi, this is Diane Love to Bake, and what we're going to make today is apple pie filling. For a lot of us, we buy it in a, in a can, and it can be uh, uh, quite expensive. You can make this recipe for literally pennies, and then you can use whatever type of apples that you like, as well as you know what you've put into the ingredients. So I want to start off by just talking about the apples really quick. You're going to need four medium-sized apples, and I wanted to show you because there's such a difference in size. This is what I would consider a large apple. This would be considered more of a medium-sized apple. And then this one you could see is, I feel, is a small apple. So what I tend to use are actually the medium-sized apples and I use four of them. Now you'll be able to adjust this recipe however that you want. Uh, cause it's, it's so easy. When you see how easy it is, it's, it's a no-brainer. Uh, on the type of apples, I tend to use gala apples. Uh, I find that they are um, a little bit, uh, I think, sweeter. Uh, but you know, it's really going to be up to you whether you want to use Red Delicious or Macintosh or whatever type of apple that you prefer. Uh, so let's get started. Um, what you're going to need, of course, is uh, it'll be on your uh, on your uh, stove, so you're going to need your cooktop or whatever. You're going to uh, start off with two tablespoons of butter, and you're going to want to melt uh, that butter. Okay, so it's just going to take me a few seconds to do that. Okay. And in fact, I usually cut my butter up, but today I didn't, so. Just want to cut that. Okay, so you're just going to, like I said, you're going to melt um, in your round uh, pot two tablespoons of butter. What you're also going to be putting in is one teaspoon of um, cinnamon. That was one teaspoon. And just melt that together. The next thing that you're going to be putting in is sugar, granulated sugar, and that's only a third of a cup of granulated sugar. You're going to be putting in, uh, I almost forgot here, <laughs> uh, three tablespoons of water. That was three tablespoons of water. I'm just waiting for my butter here a little bit. Okay. And then your four cups, um, not four cups, I'm sorry, four apples. Um, I measured mine and they came up a little over, um, I think, three cups or so. So I don't want to be, you know, real precise on how much they weigh rather than to tell you to use about four of them. And then just go ahead and put your apples right in your pan and just stir it around in the mixture. Now, the next thing that you're going to be able to do is you're going to have to put um, a, a lid or a top on your um, pot. And it's going to take probably four to six minutes for those apples to cook and become softened. You don't want them mushy, but you want them while they're cooked. And uh, it generally takes me about six minutes covered. Uh, with this, uh, you know, with, with the pot. And you want to check on it from time to time uh, to see. Also, what you'll want to do is just keep it, I would suggest, uh, I get the pot really hot, I bring it to a boil, and then I just let it simmer for that four to six minutes. And you'll know by testing them with your spoon or your fork how tender they are. If they're still not tender enough, then you know just to let them simmer a little longer till they are. So it, it, it's really much easier probably than it, than it sounds. So what I want you to do for a moment is just kind of imagine that, you know, uh, it has been six minutes. I've tested the apples and they're tender enough. I know that they're cooked and I'm pleased with that. You're going to take the top off. What you're going to do is you're going to need cornstarch, of course, and this is what's going to make it thick, uh, the uh, base of it thick. So you're going to need one tablespoon plus one teaspoon of cornstarch. And what I generally do is just put it in a little bowl, and then you're also going to be putting in um, two, uh, one tablespoon, I'm sorry, 
one tablespoon of, uh, of water, okay? So that was one tablespoon of cornstarch plus one teaspoon and one tablespoon uh, of water. And then what you want to do is just shake it up so that it becomes a liquid, that it's no longer the cornstarch looks like milk, basically. And then what you're going to do is you're going to pour that over your apples. And of course, as we know, that cornstarch is going to become thick. And then what you're going to do is you're going to put your top back onto your pot and or your saucepan. And you're going to let that, well, I, I let my simmer anyway from a minute to sometimes even five minutes. It's, it's really how thick that I want it to become, okay? And it, that's really about it, believe it or not. And then just take it off your store uh, stove and put it into whatever jar or uh, container with a top on it that you can close it up with. And um, I want to show you some that's um, been made. And this is how it will look once it's finished. And I don't know if you can see it, but it has this beautiful uh, glaze to it. And now you can serve this hot over ice cream or uh, your waffles or pancakes. Uh, you can serve it over cold. Uh, you can use this for, of course, the filling for your apple pie. Uh, I actually make apple turnovers uh, with my own um, pastry dough and uh, fill it with this. And they just come out just beautiful, these apples. I would suggest not to cut them too small because I don't want them really large, but I don't want them so small that once they really start cooking, they become mushy or really so small. You don't want that. But again, you can serve this over, you know, ice cream, desserts, that type of thing. It just comes out absolutely beautiful. It's an easy recipe. It's really quick. And what I like about it, it's so inexpensive. So give this recipe a try. And if you do and you like it, leave a comment because I'd like to hear from you. And as always, thanks for watching. Please subscribe to Diane Love to bake. See you soon.